After setting a Masters record with his 24th consecutive cut on Friday, Tiger Woods recorded his worst score at his 26th tournament at Augusta National Golf Club with a 10 over 82 in the third round. It was his highest round in any major championship during his career. Woods, a five-time Masters champion, is 11 over after 54 holes and was tied for 52nd when his third round ended. The fact that I'm not hitting it very well or not hitting it well, said Woods when asked what his biggest challenge was on Saturday. I didn't have a very good warm-up and it continued like that all day today. Just hitting the ball everywhere I know I shouldn't. And I missed a lot of shots. Shots that are easy and easy to make. I missed a lot of them. After starting the day at 1 over after 36 holes, Woods didn't have a terrible start to the third round. Wow. So there it is. First double at the 8 this week. First time Tiger Woods has the ever... The 48-year-old posted pars on each of the first three holes, including a beautiful save under the scoreboard on the third par 4. Woods made a bogey on the fourth par 3 after hitting a 38, and a half-foot birdie putt past the hole, and then missed a 6-foot PAR. But then he made his first birdie of the day on the fifth par 4, hitting a 19-foot putt to return to even par for his round. Woods' round turned into a disaster from there. He made a bogey on the 6th par 3 and a double bogey on the 7th par 4. Well, um, this is a golf course I knew going into it, so uh, I got to do my homework, uh, you know, going forward at, at Pinehurst and Valhalla and uh, Troon. Um, but that's, that's kind of the game plan. Um, it's always nice coming back here because I know the golf course. I know how to play it uh, and kind of simulate shots. But granted, it's never quite the same as getting out here and doing it, right? Um, but uh, same thing. I, I heard there's some changes at the next couple of sites, so um, got to get up there early and uh, check them out. Well, just keep lifting, keep keep uh, the modes going, uh, keep the body moving, keep, keep getting stronger, uh, keep progressing. And uh, hopefully the, the practice sessions will keep getting longer. I don't know if we're closer, but I certainly we're heading in the right direction. Um, that was a, a very positive meeting, and uh, I think both sides came away from uh, the meeting feeling uh, positive. On number seven, Woods hit his tee shot into the pine straw, punched out of the trees, and pulled his approach shot to the left. Then he hit a chip shot into a greenside bunker. He left an 18-foot bogey attempt short. It was Wood's first double bogey on the 7th in his 99th round at the Masters. After Woods played 23 holes on Friday because he couldn't finish his rain-delayed opening round due to darkness, he looked tired during his walk around Augusta National on Saturday. He had played only 24 holes at a PGA Tour event before the Masters. I wouldn't necessarily say mental reps, said Woods. It's that I haven't competed and played much. When I had the chance to turn things around and when I made that shot on 5, I promptly made 3 shots on 6 and missed a chip on 7 and just went the wrong way. When I had the opportunity to turn it around, I didn't. The round would only get worse. On the 8th par 5, he hit his tee shot into the trees on the left. He punched out and hit his approach shot 40 yards from the green. His chip shot fell short and he missed a 4-foot bogey putt. After setting a Masters record with his 24th consecutive cut on Friday, Woods recorded his worst score at his 26th tournament at Augusta National Golf Club with a 10 over 82 in the third round. It was his highest round in any major championship during his career. Woods, a five-time Masters champion, is 11 over after 54 holes and was tied for 52nd when his third round ended. The fact that I'm not hitting it very well or not hitting it well, said Woods when asked what his biggest challenge was on Saturday. I didn't have a very good warm-up and it continued like that all day today. Just hitting the ball everywhere I know I shouldn't. And I missed a lot of shots. 
Shots that are easy and easy to make. I missed a lot of them. After starting the day at 1 over after 36 holes, Woods didn't have a terrible start to the third round. The 48-year-old posted pars on each of the first three holes, including a beautiful save under the scoreboard on the third par 4. Tiger Woods scored a double bogey on the eighth hole, marking the first time he recorded back-to-back -back double bogeys at the Masters. On the ninth par 4, he failed to make a 9-foot par attempt, settling for a bogey. His 6-over par score on the front 9 was his highest at the Masters and tied his worst performance in any major, which occurred in the third round of the 2002 Open. He certainly didn't play as he would have liked, but there were also moments when he executed well, despite the greens being extremely fast, commented English golfer Tyrell Hatton, who played alongside Woods on Saturday. It's hard to realize that even a short two-and-a-half-foot putt can be incredibly challenging. The greens are very undulating, and a slight deviation from the starting line can cause the ball to miss. Woods showed signs of discomfort, stretching his back and grimacing after a shot behind a tree on the ninth hole. He still seemed to be recovering as he prepared for the tenth tee. Asked about the toll of playing 23 holes on Friday, Woods acknowledged that it had cost him. He began the back nine with consecutive pars, followed by a bogey on the 12th hole and an 8-foot birdie on the 13th par 5. However, he suffered bogeys on four consecutive holes, from the 14th to the 17th. According to ESPN stats and information, Woods had 10 bogeys or worse on Saturday, the most in a single round of a major championship in his career. After having to withdraw from the previous year's Masters tournament before the rain-delayed third round due to plantar fasciitis, Wood seemed resolute about returning on Sunday. My team will take care of me, Wood stated. They've been incredible. It's going to be a long night and an extensive warm-up session, but I'll be ready. And thus, we conclude another thrilling video here on the Hole in One channel. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to stay updated on all the incredible shots. Until the next perfect swing, golfers.